Jap can imitate, but he can't invent. That was proven again by the late General Wingate, shown in Burma with Lord Louis Mountbatten. The English general taught the Jap, with the help of Colonel Phil Cochran here, Flip Corkin of the comic strip, that we're better jungle fighters than any snipers they ever lashed in a tree. General Wingate, who was killed in a plane crash, thrust deep into Burma with his raiders to harass the Japs, and all through his campaign he was supplied by air. Planes keep our men armed and fed as they fight far back of the Jap armies that are attempting to establish a foothold in India before the monsoons begin. Thrust in Burma has cut all enemy ground communications, and we tell him out loud. Most of the troops harassing the Japs were flown in, and prisoners have said their high command was caught asleep at the switch. Jap wounded received the same care as our own men. Along with the wounded, another problem is caring for the natives who were plundered by the Japs before we moved in. American trained Chinese who took Mangguan, key center in Burma, camp by a Buddhist shrine before they push on. And these Signal Corps pictures give us a brief glimpse of roads we have cut through the jungles so that Uncle Joe Stilwell, with his Chinese and American troops, can outflank the enemy. Today, China has the weapons to fight. One of our tanks is damaged by a Jap mine. Every dead Jap is a symbol of Chinese vengeance. The Jap sun is slowly sinking, and their first victims, the Chinese, are paying with their blood to make the Nips regret that day. As we advance, we establish permanent air bases that will give wing to our warplanes. And it's a happy birthday for General Stilwell on the Burma front as he cuts the first piece of cake for his son, a colonel. 61 years young, Uncle Joe has reason to celebrate the success of his campaign in Burma. Everybody congratulated him, but Joe. Salvaging airplane material at the Alameda, California Naval Air Station. The bullet-ridden plane of Commander Butch O'Hare, lost in Pacific combat. From the junk heap come many valuable airplane parts. All aluminum is broken up and melted down. 80% of the material goes back into service. Another means to victory. Where there's fighting, there's Irish. And General Alexander, himself an Irishman, observes St. Patrick's Day on the casino front with an Irish regiment and the traditional exchange of shamrocks. The Allied Commander-in-Chief in Italy is treated to some snappy marching. While at Anzio, English rocket guns go into action. Task force off Saipan Island in the Marianas, attacked by Jap planes by the enemy. Score one for the Navy. Two down, one to go. That makes three in the Pacific. On the other side of the globe, the Navy strikes again. A seaplane tender attempts to ram a German submarine in the Atlantic. Riddled from stem 
wind astern, the U-boat sinks, keeping Allied sea lanes open.